Yo gamers, what's up? It's your boy Goldemon12 here, also known as the Yap Demon 12 and I'm here to do my first, like, what, actual reaction video? This is going to be the reaction of a reaction. And then maybe if one of these two content creators looks at this, it'd be another reaction. We're having reaction steps in here. Uh, but I pre-watched this because I wanted to get the, the whole idea of it first, like what Tecton was talking about in this video and what Intesh was talking about. And um, I just want to give my thoughts on it because I think some of what Intesh said is completely wrong, just being 100% honest. And I think Tectone doesn't get the full picture because he doesn't look at leaks, right? And I'm not going to pull up leaks in this video. I'm just going to tell you what, I, I guess, like a, a soft way of talking about it in terms of like le leaks, right? Uh, I don't know how to explain this, but hopefully to anyone who watches this, this, you know, is helpful and it disproves anything out there. Because a lot of people are trying to send this message that M Dash is talking about, or at least his thoughts, and they're completely wrong, okay? I've done the math, in fact, let me actually... Now, you should ignore what's on screen, because this is just, like, random, uh, you know, number vomit, but what I do is I like to do a lot of stuff myself, test it out, and actually do the math, right, and show how it would function in-game, right? I try to keep my stuff to a pretty uh, reasonable level. I do, you know, do a lot of the nerd stuff, right? So spam nerd emoji if you want, but I just want you to know to give a little bit myself a little bit of credibility is that I do a bunch of this theory crafting stuff. I do a bunch of the math stuff, right? And I can vouch for other people's um, numbers and stuff because I look at it myself and test it in game and all that, you know, blah, 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 right? And so just to sort of give, I guess, context to like why I'm commenting on this is that I, from all the information I have, I think some of what he said is completely wrong because he doesn't fully understand it, right? And that's totally fine if he doesn't. And so I just want to clear up some misconceptions really for this video. Yeah, uh, sorry about all the cuts, right? I'm talking in red messages and all that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this helps you guys build understanding. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go through this, all right? Wait, my apologies. I got to mute the game in the background. <laughs> I, I should have closed that. <laughs> my bad. Oh yeah, uh, why is it Imtash quit already, bro? He's a fake free to play in the first place. Like, let's be honest here. All right. Also, Tectone, a couple things for you if you do watch this. Um, I'm a better free to play. Okay. You have a skill issue with the pure fiction. I know you talked about that in this video, but let's just keep it a buck. And I know you're a hammer enjoyer for Monster Hunter. Let's be honest here. Hunting Horn does everything Hammer does, but better. Just saying. All right. Let's continue. Oh my god, I had the video mute. Alright, you know what, whatever, we're just gonna keep going. But why? Gamers. Yo. I just went over a bunch of the Acheron leaks. That's cool. Um, now you're wondering why I'm pausing already. You can't just read a kit and then not contextualize it. Now, I, and, and what I mean by that is, you can't just read a kit and then be like, oh it's bad or oh it's good without thinking about the other characters as a team game right and so you have to see how it functions in the game's environment right and not everyone will get that by reading her kit because it's kind of um it's what the the way it functions is kind of nuanced or not nuanced um yeah no nuance yeah it's kind of complex in terms of the terms and the text description for english is bad uh hoyo versus a really bad problem with like uh I don't know if it's localization or like the translation, but the descriptions are t notoriously terrible or they shift a whole lot through like the beta cycles and stuff like that. So a lot of people get the wrong picture of how a character functions from the text because it's not, I guess, clear or detailed enough or in explained in the correct way and how the character actually functions, right? And he will talk about that, but I don't know if he understands how she completely works because it's not, at least in my opinion, not clearly conveyed in the video that he does but i'll tell you i myself when i first saw her shit i wrote like a whole document i got like over two pages of stuff going on and i've also seen the one from Agron mains they got a bunch of stuff going on so like again i'm full nerd out on this character you know all that stuff theory crafting blah 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 right um so yeah just just saying M Tash, you're a white man in this community we don't need any more pr okay you can that's so true bro you guys are terrible <laughs> Oh... Uh... <laughs> 
Oh, wait, I clicked the... God, oh, my God. I clicked the button, dude. Jeez, okay. I'll be real. I've seen Adventurine leaks. Don't give a... Skip. I have not seen any Acheron leaks. He's actually good. Is he better than Fushuan? Debatable. Again, I think all these characters are on par. If anything, it's probably like Ho-Ho, Fushuan, and then it's like slightly below Adventurine, Luocha, but I think you can move Luocha down Adventurine up. So, like... I think he's pretty good. I'll be honest with you. At all. Zero. I've seen zero. It, but he's okay to skip. I will tell you this, however. In case you aren't, or you again, you don't understand, like, what's going on with these characters' kits. At E2-S1, he's Acheron's best sustain. For the most part. There's a couple of, like, you know, nuanced uh, scenarios that, I again, I talk about in some of my videos. Um, or I have. And I will whenever she actually comes out. But he is her best sustain in that scenario. And before then, he's still really good for her. One of the better picks. So just saying, like, he's solid, and but he's also good for this upcoming character. Also, did I mess up the green screen? I can see the shadow on me. Whatever. I don't give a care. I don't care. It's not important. We're just going to keep going. I've seen a lot of... Also, I got to mute Discord or something, dude. Why is it... Oh, my God. Who is messaging? It... No. It... Jesus fucking... Okay, whatever. But I have seen no leaks. Uh, besides her... I look at leaks. Hair turns white. That's about it. That's all I've seen. I looked at her kit. I looked at the multipliers. I wanted to... I looked at her butt cheeks and boobies. Understand True. why everyone's hyping this character. Uh because she's potentially top three in the game, I've been very... Like, what? Liberal? Uh, I don't know what the, what the term would be. Uh, about her kit. I was saying, like, top five. But I unironically think she could be better than Jing Liu, given the right scenario. That might, like, some people probably won't under, they'll be like, there's no way. But like, no, unironically, because like, a lot of people understand Jing Liu, Dan, two best in the game. I've said this for a long time, ever since Jing Liu came out. It's one and two, like they're right next to each other. One could edge out in certain scenarios of the other. They're, they're like kings and queens in the game. I think unironically, Akron can slide up there with them, given the right setup, right? I will say, she is missing one ideal support that we'll probably get in the future. Right. Just saying. Uh, because she's an Archon and she's really hot. She is. True. Actually, in fact. Uh, oh, I should. Okay. My bad. I've got the camera like cropped in a weird way. Uh, but I intended to sort of explain this differently in the video. It's whatever. I'll get to the point. In case you don't know how much of a fan I am of this character. Watch this. Go ahead, say what you want. Raiden is cool. All right, I'm gonna just say it right now. She's cool. And let me tell you, that ain't the only one. I got another. <laughs> Go ahead, call me a degen. It ain't true. I just huge Raiden enjoyer. Okay, so now that I've maybe given you guys potential bias from my end, uh, I'm being 100% honest with you. I try to look at things, you know, factually and, you know, contextually tell them how they are, right? And give you the facts so you can inf make an informed decision for what you do in the game, right? Uh, so she is good. It's just, I thought that was funny. So I included in the video, All right? So let's get back to the reaction. <laughs> This video is going to be way longer, and then if one of these two creators react to it, they're going to be like 30 plus minutes. <laughs> Bro, this is going to be like an hour-long reaction inception. I honestly don't- I, Look, I'm only making this because I want to clear up some misconceptions. That's really it, all right? No, no beef for like any of these guys. And I get it, but I wanted to make a short little video about her because- Yeah, so about it being short. <laughs> How long is this going to be? I'm not convinced I want to go down this path. Yes, I'm pausing every second. No, I'm not going to stop doing it. And go for everybody who wants her, get her. She's good. That's simple. Come to my channel. I'll explain to you how she works. I'll tell you how to make her function well. It's that simple, right? Always get who you like. Uh, Imtash, get her. She's cool. Um, 
and you're coping about the destruction thing, but that's that's later in the video. Even though she looks very Why? good, and I do desperately want an electric character. Also, what I mean by that is like future destruction units, not the fact that she is kind of like a destruction because she is. I want to deal. Just get Kafka. Does he not have Kafka? Why I don't have Kafka. Did he not just get Kafka. Because I don't like DOT. DOT cringe. Okay, me saying that. Listen, actually, me saying that got me hate in my other. <laughs> People got mad at me because I said Kafka wasn't SS plus or whatever. One, it's not that deep. And two, I skip Kafka because I just don't want to use her. She's hot. She's awesome, right? Cool character. I just skipped her because I got other characters. And I'm I'm actually a true free-to-play, unlike these two posers here. So I can't summon on every character. Is there people who actually didn't roll on Kafka? She's the best character in the entire game. Have you seen my Kafka? She's, she's not two percent in the entire world, and I'm free. That's to crazy. Like, she's literally the best character in the whole game, right? Like straight up. Deal with those lightning enemies. Yep. I'm I'm annoyed by her. Why? What happened? Skill issue. All right. Okay. I looked at her kit. I looked at her light cone. I saw the synergy. I saw how good it was. Oh, dude, this is some. Okay. Actually, I'll let I'll let him speak. Shit that I heard too. I heard Acheron was not good unless you get her light cone. This is completely not true. She is fantastic even without her light cone. And I'll let it finish out just because there's a lot to take in here. I'll try to keep my, you know, uh, explanation brief. Which uh, sounds giga cringe. I ain't gonna cap. Not true. Right, right. Like, I, that sounds fucking pain. Uh, I am really, really hoping that's not the truth. But we will see. It kind of makes me salty. Yeah. I don't do a lot of pulls in the game. Same. And it feels like you kind of need her light cone. Right. And, you know, I don't have well. So, actually, wait, no, no, I should light cone. I'm not saying this is going to be anywhere near as good as hers. Hers is, like, busted on her campaign. Is it actually that insane? But if you look at her, because she's a Nihility character, there's not, like, a lot of options for free-to-play light cones. That is actually and true. I, I would agree with that. I really, really dislike that. Right. No, I should let it. I should let it. There's not a lot of good options for her. <laughs> <You're positive. laughs> and then if you look at the light cone, it also doesn't really function on other characters. Where I would say that's not true, but at the same time, it is true. Also, is the green screen really that messed up? Did I like? Sorry, I don't use it too much. I don't know if I like messed it up. Is that better? Whatever. I just look. I can't about see it. Certain okay. light cones. Can work just vaguely hint at what it does uh by the way i do know somebody messaged tectone about it during the video um i pretty much agree with them uh i will say here so what Intesh is saying about the free-to-play light cones is true however there is some work around about it right so if we go to star rail station because this you know doesn't show leaks so it's like totally cool uh, and we look at nihility light cones for acheron herself just and by the way just like every other DPS in the game, her signature light cone is a 30 to 20% increase in damage over the free to, uh, free to play alternative, right? This is for every single DPS. In fact, I'm actually going to go to Pride Win and show you guys that other people calculate the damage the same way, okay? So it, it doesn't matter what DPS it is, every single light cone you click on is 30 to tw or 20 to 30%. Increase in damage. Let's take Jing Liu, for example. Look at how Pride One calcs it. Over the free to play without its buff active, it is 20% stronger. Okay. Let's go to Blade, another destruction DPS. Okay. What are we going to see? Oh, over S5 Sacred Vow, it is 23 or 22% stronger. My head's in the way, but it says 22 right there. You can see it. Um, you know, this applies for every single character. We can go to Argenti or Jing Yuan, right? Same thing. We scroll down, we look at it. Oh, 123% versus breakfast at 98%, right? That's closer to 20. I think that one's like about 15, but you see what I'm saying. This applies to every single character in the game. The signature light cones are designed to work well with their kit to wear over the free-to-play alternative. It is 20 to 30% stronger. That's typically where it is. Sometimes it's a bit lower, but you get what I'm saying. Every single signature light cone has a significant gap in damage. That is just a fact, okay? So if you are worried about that, I guess that's fine, right? 
but you shouldn't skip the character because you don't get their signature light count. It doesn't ruin the character, right? It doesn't completely destroy the character's viability without getting a signature light count. They can still work without the signature light count. In fact, Jing Yuan, for example, right? A lot of people say he doesn't work for the signature light count. Then how come I, with my free to play breakfast light count, have cleared all content with one of my teams being Jing Yuan most of the time? And I'm using my garbage free to play build. Like, it's completely terrible. Can I pull it up here? Yeah, I want to pull it up by ne Echo Network. Look how bad this build is. Th this, this, this is the actual build. Look how bad this is. Chat. Is this cope? Be honest with me. Is it? Okay. I don't have a lot of crit subs. But he still does decent enough damage. Alright? Ignore the names. <laughs> but you don't need the light count to have this character do well. And secondly, Imtash, you saying you don't have option or... Well, you don't directly say that, but it's kind of like leading towards that, I would say, is completely wrong. You have four good night's sleep wells here. That is her third best light count. Refine that thing and use it and still get Acheron. You will be fine, okay? And speaking of which, his other point, she doesn't have very many light counts where I was starting with this, right? I agree. Her light count options are hers, Silver Wolf's signature light count, or yeah, her signature one, uh, or Good Night Sleep Well. It's in that order. It's those three are the best, right? From there, you could technically use the Battle Pass at S5, but this one's shit. Uh, Good Night Sleep Well S1 is like on par with this thing at S5. So if you have this, you're coping. Uh, but Good Night Sleep Well is just by far her best option for a four star. And that's about it. Now, technically, you could do some nerd stuff in S5 uh, for Minta and put, uh, what's his name? I'm forgetting his name. Sampo on the team, right? And get damage boost here. So technically, she does have a free-to-play option. Is it cope? Yes. But you don't have zero options. I do think it would be great to have a better free-to-play option. But just because half these light cones don't work with her doesn't mean it's... I, I, I don't, it's hard to explain this because like I'm thinking about it in a specific way and hard for me to verbalize it. But yes, I agree with you. She's limited on light con options, but I don't really see that as a problem necessarily, right? It's more of a problem that they're not free to play accessible is what I see from people, right? Because not everyone's going to have good night's sleep well because it's been on like one banner. Okay, I, I took another pause there just because I wanted to show you like what I'm talking about is that you look at all these weapon banners, bro. Good night, sleep well. Literally hasn't been on a banner since like 2.0. Sorry, not 2.0. Uh, it was like 1. Yeah, 1.1. You see, there's good night, sleep well on this banner. There isn't another banner that has good night, sleep well on it. Right? It literally has not been in the pool. So there's a reason why most players don't have it if they didn't summon back then, right? Now, granted, they could do a crazy baller move, and I'm going to pop something up. In fact, let me delete a spoiler, just so I don't, like, fuck anybody up. Um, I did a prediction, right, on whether or not we're going to see characters in the next update. So this is a complete guess, right? This isn't leaks, this is me just guessing for characters, okay? Shot in the dark, right? Assuming they play this out right... Her best option might be on the weapon banner. So even if you are limited on pools, you would still be something on a banner that potentially has her best in slot and good night sleep well, which is a more universal light count for the Hillary characters, right? Just saying, okay? It hasn't been here for a while, so we'll see what they do. But I just want to put that out there. It's like, I agree with you, limited on light count options, but I would say her light count is useful on other characters, right? And I would say that... I don't think you have to summon for it, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but yeah. on, on multiple different units in the game. And it does work on multiple different units, right? It does. It's not the. It's not going to be better than some other options, but that actually that's another thing. Um, that's actually what I wanted to point out. This is the same thing, like I said, with a thirty percent damage increase across the board. Every single signature light count for these characters is the same thing. How are you going to tell me 
that Jing Liu's light cone where your allies have to get their HP reduction works on other DPS characters. You have to get RNG hits off for this to work. You would have to have your other characters each individually get hit at least three times before, right? You get the passive for that and it's only for one attack. Jing Liu does this automatically. So this is that quote unquote added functionality for her kit. Now there's also her passive that's like scaling off base attack, right? And so that's why you uh, want this because that's high base attack as well. So it just works additionally with her. And this is for literally every single DPS, right? We go to Dan Hung, right? We pull up his light cone. What does it do? It gives him the crit and energy recharge on basic and he's only doing basics. This isn't that good on other destruction characters because what other destruction character is spamming basic? Blade is, right? So to, to my, I guess, I guess it's kind of against my point, but you see what I'm saying? It's like every single destruction character does the same, or not destruction character, but every single DPS is doing the same thing where their weapon is tailored to them, right? It says whenever the wearer attacks or consumes HP. Uh, Arlen does this, sure, but like he's not a five star, right? You know, we look at Jing Yuan, right? I'll use him again as an example. This is whenever you skill at ult, you get a stack that gives you corpus, whatever, and buffs your follow-up attack damage. Great. But like, do you see what I'm saying here? Every single DPS is doing the same thing where their light cone has a like added, I guess, added functionality to it. Um, like Argentis, right? This is actually a great example of this. His scales based on energy you have. What character has as much energy as Argenti that's Erudition? None of them. They're all like 120 costs, so they are losing a big portion of damage from his light cone. They're only getting the crit damage. And again, this is only ultimate damage. So this is specifically for him, right? So I wouldn't worry about that fact. If you like the character, you should get their light cone, right? And I do recommend getting Acheron's light cone, I will say. But like, do, do, do you see what I'm saying here? It's like, all of these light cones do that. And so if you don't like the fact it doesn't, you know, work on other characters, that's fine. Don't get it. Right. But all of them do this. It's the same for all of them. And for the most part. How does bro have so many good night sleep wells and he's not using any of them? Use them. I mean, I'll be real. I just think that I just think this guy just doesn't like the Hillary characters. I'll be real. Bro has bro has good night sleep well at ref He probably doesn't. You know why? Because his builds are terrible. And you know how I know the terrible? He has Fermenta on Pella. And Luca Lightcone on Well. Now, granted, Luca Lightcone can technically work on Well in some scenarios, but um, bro, what are, what are you doing here? I mean, listen, I'm true free to play unlike Imtash here, and bro is using the What it I should take a look at his builds, but I have a serious issue with some of these, not gonna lie. Um but I'll continue besides the point. Find it four. Like, bro, I'm actually mad salty. I am too. Like, even Himiko's, I could use this on any Iridition character. I don't know. I feel like Dot characters are the coolest characters in the game. Is that... Sorry, I'm getting mad at the light cones. Like, Weltpog. Palepog. Oh this my god. I simple, beautiful... Oh my god. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> oh my... I'm a failure. Swan We're three minutes in. I've yapped for like 20. Silverwolf. Sampo Pog. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're cool. He doesn't like dots because they have tits. I mean, I guess that's it, bro. But like, I, I don't know, bro. I feel like Nihility is... Um, I actually don't know what his uh, light count scenario is like or his account scenario. So maybe I shouldn't be talking about that. But um, he, he does make he does make another point that I, I do want to clarify. Probably, no, Nihility the coolest path for sure. And it's going to do pretty darn good, especially in pure fiction with wave after wave after any of, of any. Yeah, Gwenaif and Pog. That's right. Gwenaif and his Pog. And like even with Zila, even though some of this speed stuff. So so um, here's the thing. This is why I was questioning his understanding of the game. Right. Working on other characters. It he still says. Can function very well. He says it's uh, hard to get on other characters and it still can function very well. I completely disagree on this. You know why? Because here, here's the thing. We're going to pull up the... the uh, we're going to pull up the hunt light counts, right? So this light count, what it does is it increases your crit rate. And then if you have certain speed, you get increased skill, basic, and then ultimate crit damage, right? Here's the problem with this. None of the other characters 
for Hunt have self-speed buffs like Zila or even deal damage with their ultimates. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if we look at both Topaz and Ratio, Topaz literally cannot damage with her ultimate. It is a buff for Numbi. Her entire damage is through her skill, and she doesn't even go that high a speed. So you're missing half of the Light Cone's functionality because the character can't even utilize it, right? Again, like I said earlier, it's designed for the character with the character in mind, right? So this is actually helping my point, I'd say. And Ratio's whole damage is via his follow-ups, not his skill, right? His ultimate does do some damage, but it's only a funnel for more follow-ups, which is why if you... If you want to pull it up, like, actually, we can pull up ratio as an example, right? Uh, how, again, just using Pride Run as a re reference here, where they put the ranking of the light counts. Zealas is worse, in their eyes, than the free-to-play one, or even the four-star one, because this one's consistent. Hell, Topaz is better. So, his point to where it works on everybody, I actually disagree with. It's to what I was saying earlier. The light counts are made for the character in mind. Right? So if you, if you really like the character, obviously get their light cone. It's a huge boost. Like, I, th I think it's just that simple. With a decently built character with some speed boots and stuff like that. You're not going to get that much speed on other characters. It's not happening. They would have to have external speed buffs. There, there, there's... Or you have to sacrifice all your stats for it. There's ways to even boost up the speed of your teammates and you can make this function on anyone. And I don't like the okay. fact... And again, not true because some of the other hunt characters don't even do damage through their ultimates, so you're missing like half the light cone's utility. Just saying. That her light cone is, is kind of niche. And her her light cone is niche like the other light cones are niche. I Again, like, I agree with that, but I agree with it to the extent that the other light cones are also niche, if you get what I'm saying. Hopefully I'm explaining everything in this video right, because I feel like I'm not, because <laughs> I, I don't normally do this kind of thing. Um. But her light cone is good, and it does work on other characters. It's just we haven't had another cr we haven't had a crit nihility DPS yet, and that's what this character is. She's not a dot character. Just completely, she's not a dot character. She's a crit nihility character. She wants other nihility characters, which M Touch has explained. Uh, and so yeah, and I will actually if Tectone does watch this, you can use Kafka and Black Swan with her, but they're better off on their own team. Right, Acheron would prefer, she's more of a hyper carry sort of, so you would prefer to put the other Nihilities, like the de the actual debuffers over Kafka Black Swan. Now, if you get multiple copies of her, it doesn't really matter. Or if you have like Black Swan E1, it doesn't matter because depending on your like investment, you actually can and theoretically over for overall damage, it is better with dot characters. So it's a, it's a yes and no scenario. Good with them, but also not at the same time, if you, if you get what I'm saying. And there's other people saying... And, and trust me, I totally get the dangers of what M Tash is saying. I want to let everybody know, first of all, I have M Tash's back 1 million percent on this take. I... Oh my god, dude. I need to use the ad blocker. <laughs> I really don't like when light cones become, use the specific weapon on this specific character. I understand both of these two don't like that. But that's how the five star light cones sort of are. Like I, I, I showed you the examples, and if you really look at them, that's just how they, how they design it. I'll be honest. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with uh, Genshin, right? They make the signatures intended for that character to synergize with that character. They just happen to work on other characters well, right? And that's the scenario we're gonna be in. If you see another character that does similar things to, I guess Jing Liu is an example. Maybe they could also fully proc her own light cone. Just saying. Use this specific set on this specific. But that's just not like it's currently. It's just not true for like most light cones, right? Most of them you can't really use on other characters. That's just how it is. They're not good on anyone else. It's so bad for the game. I really don't enjoy that shit. And I, I'll, I'll be real. I was gonna make my first really negative Honkai Star Rail video. Also, another another pause. Um, I get he doesn't enjoy it, but like. I would say for me personally as a free-to-play, I don't really care as long as um, there is a accessible like four-star option, right? Uh, I understand, like, here's the thing. It's better for the game making money if there is a significant gap like that uh, because whales are going to want to, you know, get that, right? Do the, do the best or it's like a, a low-spending player. It's like, oh, I want this, I want this, right? So it can 
from my perspective, right, push sales more, right? Because it's going to be like, oh, it's made for them, right? I got to get it sort of thing, right? You know, until thankfully I realized that I was wrong. What the video was- Also, this is the pure fiction thing. Uh, I just put a video up about pure fiction. You don't actually need a full s set of follow-up characters. Tech Dungeon just has a skill issue. He, all you gotta do is understand the game, right? And you can beat like all the content, which is what I've done. I understand the game really well. Um, or you don't even have to understand the game. You can just watch it, a guide person like what I do, right? And I talk, I talk about it. Uh, as long as you understand what you're doing and like actually read the stuff, it's easy. I have full cleared like everything just because I've abused the stage buffs and how I understand the game, right? I don't even have to do anything crazy. I legit cured the last pure fiction with a like level 50 Herta and it's DOT. And mind you, I don't have any DOT characters built. I refuse to use DOT. And again, I don't hate it. I just like don't use it on my account. And I cleared the last pure fiction without an issue. So, uh, yeah, it's going I'll just, to be I'll just about say was Because in the beginning of the game, it was kind of like, you have to build every character. Or not, not every character, you have to build every type of character. Like ice, fire, I disagree grass, with this. poison, psychic. Actually, I disagree with this. You can brute force a lot of the stages. Just get Jing Liu. <laughs> um, but like, seriously, you, you can actually brute force it if you uh, get a good enough team, right? Or you understand the game. Dark, That's steel, what I do. fairy, uh, flying dragon. Right, you need to build all that shit. You need to build all that shit. Well, that's Pokemon. Regardless, you had to build like all the archetypes, right? You had to build the archetypes. You need to build grass <clears throat> to beat Misty, right? And then I got to the new Pure Fiction, and the Pure Fiction, I one starred stage three, and I two starred stage four, and I got really angry because it Skill said issue. you need a follow up. Just character. use the right well, buffs. You don't need a follow up character. All I have was Herta, and I have a Doctor. Well, Ray. I wouldn't say you don't need it. Because I technically did use one, but I think you probably only need one. You, if you have a specific character, like an AOE character, um, like Argenti, or a character like Jing Liu, and you can brute force it with team building, right? If you have specific setups, you can brute force these stages. Like, you can do a Flame MC break build with Ruin Mei, and then just full clear the, the stages. Legit, if you do like a break MC with Rune May because it's fire week, uh, you can just have the MC break the whole side and then it's just clearing like wave by wave. Like you, there's a lot of tricks that you can do for this sort of, sort of thing. Ratio and the top stage needs physical and fire. And I got really angry because then I'm like, oh, okay, so I need a specific character. And I was a, I was this close. I was this close to running my mouth and saying that Honkai Star Wars was in a bad spot. But then I realized, I took a breath. Then I realized you just... Also, I don't think that's indication of a bad spot, to be honest with you. I, I just I just don't I, don't... I don't see it. I think it's totally fine to have uh, content that you can't necessarily easily walk in and beat, right? I, I don't see anything a problem with that. Pull for a character. I, I, I do think you should probably have to put effort in to, like, actually beat something. ...character of every archetype, right? And then you pull for every character for a specific fighting style. Right, so you have the daughters, which we had the daughters. Yeah, that again, that's fine. Last week or last time, then you have the follow-up attackers, right? Then you have the raw damagers, right? Yeah. So it was my mistake. I should have known this was going to happen, and I should have used my ticket to redeem a Himiko, and I did. So now I have a Himiko on my account. I'm I'll be honest with you. The only acceptable thing to use the ticket for is Bronya, no matter what. Until your Bronya is E6, the answer is always Bronya. Um... If you really want Himiko, I guess you can use her for Pure Fiction. Go ahead. If you're if you're that bad, get Himiko for Pure Fiction. But I don't have a Himiko. I still cleared it. To build my Himiko, and then I'm going to go back into Pure Fiction probably today, and I'm going to mop the floor with it. My it's it's easy. You need her Eidolons for her to function at top, top priority. A toxic layer. Oh my god, Tectone, your 30 second ad thing. Of zombie cells are coated. We're just gonna. Oh man, it will all. I actually have Zila E2. I don't know. Where's the talking about Idolons again? You just free here. You go. Hot set rotation last week or last. Tech tone. I swear to God, so that thirty second it was ad my thing. Mistake.
I should have known this was going to happen. I just... I'm going to build my floor with it. My opinion. It works, guys, clearly. You need her Eidolons for her to function. No, you don't. You don't need any character's Eidolons. You know how I know this? Because I don't have any character Eidolons, except for Rune Mei. That's a different story. Watch that video. At top, top priority. And I understand it, because her Eidolon 2 opens a lot of doors. Her Eidolon 2 enables her to use Harmony characters. Below Eidolon 2, there is basically no justifiable reason to run a Harmony character. I'll tell you that right now. So if y'all are trying to build a team for her to get ready, Pella, Silverwolf, Gwenyphon are your like main picks there. There are, you can use the other ones, but I'll just tell you right now, like those are the, like basically the best ones. I do have a video covering her teammates. And of course I'll make one in the future when she actually comes out, right? And explain uh, what you need to do. But you could argue any character's E2 starts opening some doors and can get crazy. Like I do. Every character has significant Eidolons that boost them, right? And so what Imtesh is saying is like he's saying the degree of boost for her is large. And he doesn't say it's unreasonable, but it's large. It does a lot for her. And I would agree it does because it allows you to use Harmony characters, right? And the way she's made, because in case you don't know, her thing is like new of a let's passive where it's percent damage more with the other, you know, things, right? Hers just happens to be, it needs nihility, right? And so it's a unique multiplier. And so it's very significant, right? And so, and because it also gives her a thing for her ultimate. And so I understand why people are going crazy over it. But for me, it's just a really powerful Eidolon. It's not like anything to go freaky about. You don't need it. All right, she's fine without it. She's still really good. Dan yep. Hungs is, is nuts. And yeah, again, actually... to his point, Dan Hungs is crazy. I would say this just for all these like newer characters. They make really good Eidolons now. actually have Zila E2. I don't know. Her Eidolons aren't good. I don't know if they're as, clo as strong as other people's. They're no. definitely good. But some of the E2s are crazy on these characters. Yes. Yep. And I get that. Yes. But? But she does look strong even with the Eidolons. Yes. With E2, She's she great. goes to another level, kind of like Raiden Shogun does. Yes, exactly. He is correct 100% on that. Um, And it opens up accessibility because... I gotta be careful with leaks, but... You want to pair Nihility characters with her. And yes. with Eidolon E2, you don't have to pair... Which... Okay. Which Nihility characters do... By the way, I already mentioned this. Pella, Silverwolf, Gwenyphon are like the better ones. Uh, You can use the other characters, but there's a degree of it. There's... I, I would say... Everyone else is kind of below them. Uh, Welt is here or there because he's got a little anti-synergy, but he also can do pseudo-sustain. And so there's there's a bit of a, a setup thing there. Uh, it, it would depend on the player, but yeah, that, that's basically that. Do you want to pair Acheron with? You don't want Gia T, really. With Kafka and Black Swan? Like I, I, already, I already said this. Yes, but I wouldn't use them together. Kafka, Black Swan, put them on another team. Wolf. Is there a Silver Wolf rerun banner happening next patch? Topaz and Fushuan? I will be getting my Topaz in 2.1. I don't care. I'm getting all of my favorite characters. Get them. I love Topaz. topaz I've well. got Topaz. I do not care. Her ass is too fat True. for me not to roll for. No Welt? Can you use Welt? You can use Welt. Uh, he's okay. Gwenyphon would actually net you your net your Akron more damage. I will tell you that. Uh, but it's a setup thing. Kafka, Black Swan plus Acheron is good. It's got to be good. How could it? You want to have E1 Black Swan for it to be like optimal. Not be good. Pair. It's not good because they don't have debuffs to help Acheron. And that's not saying they don't have debuffs. Their attacks are debuffs. They have debuffs. But their percentage on their debuffs isn't as strong as Pella's or Silverwolf's or even Gwenyphon's. Just saying that right now. Their defense down is what you're looking at. And this is only for Acheron's personal damage. Okay. You, if you're doing a DOT team and slide her, slide her, uh, slide there, slide her on there, English, it will tank her personal damage a little bit, but you still have good team damage. Nihil as many Nihility characters with her, so you can start buffing with Harmony and things like that, right? Right. Yeah. And so, Acheron looks good at E1. For, yes. Or, sorry, E0. Yes. Yes. She looks better at E2. Okay. I'm Just like every it, character. Married, okay. You don't have to show off your ring every video bro okay we get it bro you've had sex okay this, this is why i hate people with kids is because then we know they've had sex it's so yeah irritating. bro i'm lonely i ain't okay, had a girlfriend bro, we ever get it
I hate we get it, bro. Too. You've had sex. God, just put that dick away, M Tash. I swear to God, I can't go a day without M Tash sending me a photo of his cock. Yeah, bro. So why why, why haven't you guys posted a video of you two oiled up on camera? Like, what is this? I can't get it because it's all the way up in Canada and I'm so horny. I can't even think straight whenever I see this white man. Anyways. But you almost need her light cone. No, you don't. You don't need it. It's a team building issue. 100%, I'll tell you this right now. You don't need her light count. I'm pretty sure I already repeated this. You don't need it. You just need to build your team around her just like every other character. This isn't really an issue. You can argue it is an investment issue, right? Because you want to have really high investment on your characters. But again, you could say the same thing for literally every single team in the game. All right? You, you don't need her light count. And I'm at a stage where I personally really like having multiple different characters yeah, I've got a few different destruction characters that all function in different areas right. or different elements does he have and I want another one I want a destruction character more than I want Acheron even though she functions like a destruction character yeah if there is a crazy new light cone that comes out on a cra okay I'm gonna tell you this right now the this quote unquote crazy new light cone that he's like hoping that works on everybody uh, I think that's kind of cope, I'll be honest. Uh, they clearly, as I've pointed out earlier, make the light cones tailored for the character. So even if we will be getting a destruction character in 2.2, whatever, I said it. Uh, there, you can't expect that light cone to work on every single destruction character. I'm just saying that right now. Like, that's just, I think that's cope. Crazy new destruction character. I think I would rather have that than... If you want that for that character, go ahead. Like, that's why I've been saying this whole time. Pulling for Acheron. Because it could potentially make my blade stronger. It could potentially... No, it won't be better than Blade Signature Light Count. Neither will Dan's. Unless they, like, make it broken to broken. It could make my Dan Hung stronger. Just get it their Light Counts. Make my you should have got them. Stronger. I'm not going to talk about her. And... Bro, here's an idea. Why don't we make a shoe banner? That way I don't have to see these dogs anymore. Like, am I nuts? Like, bro, get her some... By the Shoot. way, chat is spamming Sam. It doesn't even Sam. make any sense. Put I got bad news about that. It would look adorable. Like, she's walking around barefoot in the snow. How is she not dead? Am I crazy? I'm just not interested right now in pulling for a character and being forced into the light cone to be at... You're not forced into the light cone. You don't need it. Just straight up, you don't need it. Like, you, you don't. You know, like, a functioning level. Is it really... Yeah, you don't. Yeah, this is this is where really, it's the message. Is it really I think. like she doesn't even function without her light cone? You don't need it. Like she can't even function. That's not true. No, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm so curious what this does. EO says no. That is not true. She functions badly without it. She does just fine without it. He's doom posting. Check DMs. People okay, are very DMs. much doom po Actually, I'll say, people are so doom posting about the light cone, and they don't even look at the uh, showcases, or they don't even understand how she functions. I'll just say right now. There are people, and again, I'm not saying that Imtash is like this, you know, because I, I don't watch his stuff, right? I don't keep up with him, so I don't know, like, his, his level of understanding in this. She doesn't need it. Um, Anyone who says she needs it, they're also coping. Because I'll tell you right now, she doesn't. You will see. I will show you. Whenever she comes out that she doesn't need it. Or you can just look it up yourself right now, right? Um, you can do the most bomb of the barrel for you to play set up. And it's still actually pretty good. Because I'll admit, I'm with them, Tash. I, I think every character should be able to function without their signature light cone. One million percent. Just in case. There are a few characters I'd say don't function without their light cone, but uh, that might be a hot take. In case you want the info without Twitch chat, Acheron doesn't need her light cone. True. Her light cone is just incredibly geared towards her and busted. Just like every the other TLDR light cone, I already made that point. Is that signature light cone equals 1 million damage, free to play light cone, four to 600,000 damage. Also, he's not actually wrong about that. Her damage is stupid. It's stupid. Um, yeah, it's stupid. Oh my god. It's not, it's, in fairness, it's not that high. Unless you're talking about rotational damage. If he's talking about rotational damage, like, over X amount of cycles, then it is actually that high. So, yeah, Pug. Which is actually a valid difference. A $300 difference, exactly. As I said, it's 20 to 30% over the next best option, right? Or 
the next best option would be silver wolves but you know what i mean over the next best four star option and that's typical for all these light cones exactly she has three to four options that aren't her signatures in the game but people keep saying she needs it because they want the most damage is free to play yes it's being mega exaggerate exaggerate exa masturbated okay uh, yes it is it is um whatever he was trying to say there it is uh she doesn't need it it is a significant jump just like every other light cone uh i'm free to play i'll be going for it because guess what i saved my summons because i'm not some crazy person who has to summon on every banner if you are not thinking actively and you're just gamba 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 that's on you okay so here's the thing i don't think we need more than six hundred thousand damage <laughs> with the free to play light cone low key like when the f would i need a million damage i mean who knows but isn't the live stream tomorrow when it when is the exact date of the live stream she just does half the damage. Uh, live streams yeah, in a week. Half the damage is enough to win the game. To win also, the it's not half the damage. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, as I've been saying, 20 to 30% gain over the four-star. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's it matter then? Like, if I can already beat it, 15th, we will be there for the 15th. Okay? If we can already beat it with half the damage. Yeah, bro, like, subscribe. I'll be there. Because for me, I, I argue functional and functioning level. Because all of my other light cones... I'm going to argue your characters right now don't function. I already saw some of those light cone placements. They're terrible. What? In, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... Like our... our they make our me trash. mad. trash. Like... It, it, the, your light cones aren't trash. Actually, no. They are. Why do you have... Good night, sleep well, unrefined, unleveled on these characters? I don't know if you're using DPS welts. But why do you have... Pearls, a support light cone on welts just saying now maybe you're using him as a support fair enough but you got a good night sleep well sent perfectly right there secondly your pella why the hell is she on the dot light count what sorry i'm getting mad damage at the light potential counts again. the damage comparison we're talking like 50 percent lower it's not 50 percent. it's just not true i did the math it's not true I, don't, I would show you the math, but right. I don't know low. if that's like true. no um, go. And so, you know, it's like, not true. That, that, like, again, like, that's wrong. Uh, that's uh, I'm yapping a lot here, but I'm just saying. A little worried about it. I think everything could be okay, one, Mr. Could be fine. Like with multiple stacks, I've got multiple stacks. This I honestly think going. he he's coping. Um, I think Imtes is just coping. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest with her. The light cone is good on her. You've got it. Just provide it. Use it. That's what I've been saying this like whole time. Use cone, your good night sleep well. Um, like a baby baby welt light cone in, in a sense. Welt's light cone but, is not that good. I don't know. That's a whole nother thing. But I just yeah. don't feel welt's light cone isn't that good, good about it. For some reason. I feel like I I'm going to skip. And maybe... It's scary because it, it, it appears that a game that was perfectly balanced could be leaning into release strong new character, release strong new light cone, and they're not going to feel good without it. I can totally see his concerns. Um, See, that's a whole other thing, in my opinion. Uh, I, I, I do understand the aspect that a character doesn't, you know, feel good without a specific, you know, light cone uh, to that player. But that, that'd be a player-to-player -player thing. Uh, I would say she's, t again, she's totally fine without it. It's just, you have to... Tailor your setup just like every other character to work best with her. I think he's being very reasonable with this. Maybe I, I can understand that he's scared and might be misinterpreting some information though. Yeah, I'm crazy. That, Maybe I'm making yeah, a mistake, I'm but I think I'm more interested in like a fire destruction character or an electric destruction. There is a fire destruction character. Character right now than Acheron, even though I know she is essentially destruction damage wise. Yeah. The fact that she's nihility is makes me mad. And and looking at the characters that I have built and the options that I have. Okay, I'm gonna say it right now. Uh Imtashed. I saw you had a Pella on there. And you have a Silver Wolf. So you already have her like two best supports. So what are you going on about here? <laughs> I just don't think she's a good fit for me. So if you like her, get her. I know you could argue that I just don't have any pulls, so I'm not pulling. But I actually have a lot of stellar jade from the events. There's a new event that dropped today. I'm confused. I thought Mtash broke free to play. Am I nuts? Like I thought I thought he was whale now. I'm confused. Am I am I missed I thought he broke free to play. Day. The other one I haven't finished up. There's all the weekly reset stuff. There's 
you know the new patch we've got 19 days and then all of her banner wait I only welkin and battle pass wait so i can get that shit too and y'all still no you're not free to play i'm the only true free to play you're all frauds can i get that shit too can i have that shit bro too i know you'd be getting me? sent that money don't even no. be like that you'd be getting oh. sent that jades in, in game wait then so why is he allowed he's not allowed he's a fraud too hey bro I'll, dude what if i just drop 100 right now would that be based or would that be cringe you're cringe like what if i just you're drop bald. a grand <laughs> what if i just drop a grand and e6 black swan or e6 my sparkle would that be bakehead would that be jack uh e6 your roommate so she one shot one sh uh, blah, blah, blah. e6 your roommate so she one shots bosses yeah i could guys would that be would that be epic i could probably easily get her and enough to get the light gun because i actually have a lot of pity like a, a surprising amount go of for it mtash but i think cool. i'm just gonna summon. skip which is crazy go Maybe the drip marketing is going to come out and it's going to completely sway me. I'm going to do a prediction. MTASH, you're going to pull for Acheron. You're going May to pull for Acheron. Pull. May that be 90 pulls. You may not even get her. You're going to pull for Acheron. You're going to I pull. I know you. I know you, MTASH. You're a weak, weak man. And when you see those big old tits flopping around. Oh, yeah. Think those big old titties can be on my face. Exactly. You think you're going to skip, but you won't. He thinks he thinks he's gonna skip, but once I've he seen won't. one white man, I've seen them all. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna send the video. I won't send it to him. I don't even know what his info is. I'm gonna just be posting that video, and Tess is gonna see. Oh wait, she kind of good, and then he's gonna crumble. He's weak. This white man gonna pull with them big old anime boobies. I know him, but I don't think he will. I saved a hundred wishes for for Sparkle because I knew. I'm saving 200 wishes for Akron. Get on my level. She could be a game changer for Dan Hunt. I... Hey, I'll be real, bro. I I just pulled her because I thought she was cute. You know? That's I'll be honest. That's the only reason I pulled her Sparkle. That... I'll be honest. I don't like Sparkle. And that's why I'm skipping her. The trailer was <laughs> insane. And I was like, how am I not going to get this cutie patootie on my account? I knew she could be a game changer for my, my Zila. I mean, it, it, dude, I'll be real. It changed my account zero. <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't. She changed nothing. She doesn't. I just liked her. <laughs> oh, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's I really do not good. Care. And but I've, I've never been happy. Saying. I have never been happier with my account. I am blowing stuff up with like an. I'm still better than both of you. Fight me. Arguably bad built <laughs> Dan Hung. Well, your Dan Hung shit. Better. I I picked fifty. This is shit. Six point one percent, bro. At this point, just uninstall. Just this hey, is this is hey, re -roll. No. Is it worse than my Jingyu Wan? <laughs> oh man, go back to Genshin, okay? Nobody wants to see that mid ass Dan Hung, bro. Don't go back to Genshin, it's not fun. A couple little upgrades that are like fractional upgrades here and there. Also, I'll tell you Fact. right now, bro, quit farming the four piece imaginary set. The cowboy set you get everywhere, it just gives you free damage percent and attack, which is what you need. So, like, I don't. Like, what, what, what are we doing here? Fractional upgrades, but. You don't you don't have full imprisoned up time. I don't even know if you run her with debuffers. So like you're literally losing out the four piece. Exactly. I'm nitpicking, aren't I? That are popping off because of sparkle. Yeah. And feeling like I'm the king of the world. With, also, what is this ratio? My build? ability to clear stuff. You're not the king of the world, Abdash. You're the king of my world because I love you. Yeah. Wh where's the oil video? I, I need you, Abdash. I want I someone don't. who's gonna be fun. I want someone who's gonna gonna be a game. Oh, she'll be fun. Just wait till her animations come out. All y'all gonna be. I mean, listen, when they officially reveal this shit, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Change it for me, and I'm going to be patient. Good. And I'm putting this out in the world so you can hold me accountable. I'm putting out in this world because I want to yap. <laughs> Don't let me pull. Don't let me do it. He's going to pull. He's going to pull. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. He's going to pull. He's talking all of this shit like he always does. And he's, he's gonna, gonna pull. pull. Might be just once. Might be ten times. Might even be I think 180 he should times. He's gonna pull. He's he doesn't know it yet. I think deep down he does know it. Maybe. He's gonna pull. Just like I'll be pulling at twitch.tv forward slash techno. Boys, that was MTash. I will also be pulling. Well, I'll Go check out his channel. Great dude. Check that dude out. Give him some support. Appreciate y'all. See y'all on Akron. Yeah, uh, I'm also going to be pulling at Twitch TV forward slash, you know, Gold Demon 12. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have much more to say, except, again, I, I do think they've brought up some valid points, but I also disagree on a couple of things. It is what it is. Uh, 
yeah, uh, Tectone, if you watch this, invite me on the Gacha cast before I find out where the set of steak and eggs is and come there myself. That's a joke, by the way. Hopefully that, like, I don't, I don't it, whatever. I yap too much. Um, yap Demon 12. I'm gone, boys. See you later. I honestly don't even know why I'm making this video.